Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got some Titanfall gameplay on the PC, graphics setting to the max, and I've increased the color um, contrast for YouTube's sake, just because the game is a little bit more muted tones, and on YouTube it doesn't show up too well. So hopefully this looks a bit better than my previous Titanfall videos. I've had quite a bit of time to play around with the game. I basically hit rank 14, which is as high as you can get to in the beta, and I've unlocked a lot of really cool guns and played around with a whole bunch of different playstyles and Titan abilities. In this round, I'm actually playing with Mitimio on the other team, and I'm trying out some Titan abilities. I have Electric Smoke now, which is one of my favorite new Titan abilities. You have to give up the Vortex Shield, which many people I could see not wanting to do that because it offers an excellent defensive measure. However, I find that being more agile, dodging shots, um, is just fine for my st style of play, and the Electric Smoke is great for killing groups of infantry, um, providing yourself with cover to retreat in, visual cover that is, and it's also great for killing pilots that try and rodeo your Titan. Now mind you, it's not an instant kill, and you'll see me actually get Matimio later with that. He's gonna get on the back of my Titan. I'm gonna pop the smoke and I'm gonna get a few hit markers, so it's definitely enough time for a pilot to escape the electric smoke, but if they're not used to it, they're not expecting it, um, it will kill them or it'll at least get them off your back and allow you to get out of there. Now here I've activated Damage Core, which I'm just loving. I'm loving the 40 millimeter cannon in combination with Damage Core and I've actually upgraded um, and you'll see at the end of this video my 40 millimeter cannon to the three round burst fire mode, which is just a really fun way to um, dish out massive damage with this cannon that's otherwise just really more of a marksman long range weapon, the burst fire can make it very effective in close quarters. I also find it really fun to run over grunts. And here, the Timio's rodeoing my Titan, my smoke hasn't recharged, there we go, popped it, you see the hit markers there, the Timio's trying to take me out and it eventually kills him. So Titans are still really vulnerable to a ton of different types of attacks, especially rodeos, and if you really hate getting rodeoed um, and you find that you're dying to rodeos most of the time, then I would say try running with electric smoke and using that to get people off your back and then just dodging as you normally would. And I find that dodging instead of using my vortex shield, in many cases I end up dishing out more damage than my opponent. Every now and then, my opponent will get a good vortex shield on me and actually connect with the return fire, but otherwise, I find uh, it's more often than not, not that beneficial to use it. And I've somehow managed to keep my Titan alive right now. He's in the red zone health-wise, but took out that automated Titan, I think, right there. And I'm coming back into the battle. Shields are recharged, and I can re-engage. Using your sprint ability, which on PC is tapping the spacebar and a direction, allows you to move around real fast, and that is just so key to Titan combat. Um, I use it non-stop. I'm just using sprints all the time to get down roads as fast as possible. Um, I'll even sprint to run over NPCs or bots, and bots can actually dish out enough damage to make them really annoying. So I like to clear out areas of bots before I know I'm going to use that area as, say, a cover area or a defensive area. And sometimes I'll even divert my main fire from an enemy titan to a bot. And check it out, I took out another titan there with only a small sliver of health. That's how effective the damage core is, as I activated the damage core, fired my rockets and my primary, and just did massive, massive damage. And as I said before, I've been playing the game a while now, I feel pretty confident that my Titan loadout is extremely effective. The one in this video is almost where I'd like it to be. I'll show you in just a few minutes what my ideal Titan loadout is. But the actual upgrades involve uh, slaved warheads. I'm preferring those because they're very effective at long range, and you can usually get off a full volley on an unsuspecting Titan and deal out a pretty good amount of damage. Of course, anything with damage core is going to be more effective, but I'm finding that keeping my distance while fighting Titans seems to be the way to go, because if you get in close quarters, not only are you going to start taking damage from the Titan, but another one might crop up where you weren't expecting it, or a pilot is going to start dishing out more damage. So if you can try and keep most of your Titan combat to a ranged engagement, you're going to be better off surviving that engagement and trying to anticipate enemy pilots getting the better of you during that combat. Now I'm using the R101C carbine here. This is definitely one of the more popular weapons in Titanfall right there. And I've actually got a suppressor on there. I haven't decided if I prefer the suppressor, but uh, I 
think it keeps you off the mini map. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. It does lower your damage um, in accuracy a little bit. So I haven't decided if I really prefer it. Here we go, just take out that Titan so fast using my slaved warheads in primary. And check out this kill. Gotta show it again in slow-mo. That's Matimio. Straight shot in the air. His body just disintegrates. Okay, now I've switched over to some gameplay where I'm using essentially the assassin style class where you have cloak and the smart pistol. Now the smart pistol is probably my least favorite gun in the game just because it represents a play style that I think is a really bad idea. You know, I don't want to start criticizing the devs of Titanfall this early, but having a gun that auto locks on to people just seems like a really unfair thing to do, not to mention it can lock on to people while you're cloaked. And you're going to see some really dirty kills in this gameplay later. Just a lot of stealth running around and locking on and killing other pilots while you're completely invisible. It's it just seems really, really unfair. I mean, granted, you compare it to something like Crisis, where you can go stealth and use weapons and stuff, but I don't think Crisis had too many weapons that you could insta-kill people that also locked on that you could use while cloaked. So the combination of all those things together, I think, makes a gun that's highly favorable for somebody who isn't very good at shooters. It will essentially auto-lock, and I've been killed by a lot of people that probably aren't very good at shooter games at all, but they just go stealth, they lock onto you, and they get the insta-kill. And it's kind of an aggravating thing and sort of sets the skill cap um, for somebody to be able to at least kill any player on the battlefield relatively low. Okay, so to catch you up on this gameplay here, I called in a Titan essentially behind the enemy team's spawn location. Uh, I saw a pilot locking me, so I turn around and get the kill. But now I'm using the 40 millimeter cannon with the three round burst. Now the offset of using three round burst on the 40 millimeter cannon is that each shot does a little bit less damage and your overall accuracy goes down a bit, not to mention when you three round burst, um, it's gonna offset your accuracy a bit more with each successive shot. However, the damage output with three round burst is crazy high. The areas that the gun starts to really hurt in is actually taking out other pilots because I don't think you can one shot a full health pilot with it anymore. Um, and since your accuracy goes down, it's pretty bad for trying to snipe them at long range. That being said, it's still incredibly effective, and as long as you're running with something like electric smoke and a pilot does manage to get close enough to you to rodeo you, you can always deal with them that way. But you're going to see some clips here where I'm just dishing out massive damage. Now, I play a little bit too aggressively here. I kind of charge this Titan. Titan, uh, I'm taking a lot of close quarter damage, but just watch his health every time I manage to land a three round burst. Again, the shots here are kind of slow, so you have to lead your target a bit more, but it just decimates their health. So you'll see my shields have sort of recharged. I've got one bar health there, definitely in a vulnerable situation. He panics a little, but I got another Titan coming at me right now, and this Titan's pretty much full health when I engage. So I pop my smoke there. I've even fired my missiles to get some good damage. His shields are gone, and I've started to chunk into his health a bit. I get my distance on him, right? I use my sprint to get away while he's not really sure what's going on, getting locked by a pilot right there who actually manages to take me out. But I probably would have been able to take on that Titan even with my reduced health because I got so far away. Now watch this kill. Fully cloaked, lock on, insta-kill. That's the thing that I really, really don't like about this pistol. It's something that's always aggravating to get killed by. And if you think that's bad, I actually get a double pilot kill coming up here. I look on the mini-map, see that there's a guy up here. He jumps away, so I'm locking him as he's fire flying. Get the lock on, kill him. Looking at the mini-map more, the big red circles are pilots, the small red circles are bots. I see a guy running along there. Look at the lock-on range, too. No problem. Insta-kill with that gun. And the worst thing is that they have no idea that they're even being locked until they're dead. Go cloak here, double lock. Now check that out. Double lock and get a double kill. How freaking overpowered is that? It just seems so crazy. And if you don't want to wait for the lock on time, you can just simply regular fire the pistol. It does great damage even while hip firing. Now what I love about this life here is that I had one Titan. I called it in, fought around a bit, killed some Titans. It got blown up, ejected, kill a whole bunch of pilots, and get my Titan cooldown back again. So now I'm back in a Titan, and I'm able to uh, basically flank the enemy team again with a fully armored target. If this Titan goes down, I can once again eject from it and engage the pilots. 
That's one thing that's really, really fun about this game, and that guy got a massive damage on me using the uh, Vortex Shield there. I'm kind of just going in uh, Berserker style to get the kill here. Those lock-on missiles are, again, very, very effective, and he was using his Vortex Shield well. Almost took me out there, but I managed to survive, and once your shield goes up, as long as you keep the distance, you can, again, stay alive for a very long time, and you're going to see here that I managed to live quite a while and still kill a lot of pilots. So if you haven't gotten into the beta for Titanfall, I apologize. Hopefully you can watch enough YouTube videos to get your fill. The game is coming out soon in March, and I know the devs are actually working on fixing bugs that apparently are being found in Titanfall. I haven't noticed any yet. I wouldn't be opposed to them trying to rebalance the smart pistol, maybe make it so it can't lock on when you're cloaked, or maybe make the lock on timer a lot longer when you're in stealth mode, something like that to try and just balance it out a bit more, cause I gotta say it is one of the most annoying guns in the game. Or maybe give the enemy pilots warnings of what direction they're getting locked from and that they are getting locked by a smart pistol. If you guys have been playing the Titanfall beta, I would love to hear in the comments what you think about the smart pistol. Do you like it? Do you think it's overpowered? Or do you think it has a place in this game and just allows new players to essentially get some easy kills? As always guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.